Um, hey guys, it's um, Tim's vlog here. Um, I've got an unboxing for you, a special unboxing. Um, this is a pop cigar, pop cigar box. Anyway, my understanding is there's just a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, let's deal with the elephant in the room right here. Um, what everyone I'm sure is thinking of. Got like a boot print here. Look at that. Just imagine this box has seen the world. I'm not sure where it came from, but it seems some part of the world and some postal worker's boot right here, you know? I'm sure if any of you guys out there um, have access to any of that sophisticated, um, you know, tread print software, you could, you could tidy up this image and run it through that and figure out exactly what make of boot that is. I would say, um, the, you know, the width of the boot is, it's about the width from, from P to P inclusive. Um, and the length we actually can't determine because it goes off here, but it's, it's big. It's like bigger than my hand. Um, yeah, it's, it's a big one. Um, and then there's the Photoshop logo and must have hmm, Photoshop's in here. That'd be kind of neat. Um, so looking at the box, it's a pretty standard box. We got a, a solid pink side here. It runs the length of the box. This side runs the length of the, of the box. Um, hashtag must have box. Um, and uh, again, a, a pink side. Of course, you can see this box is not blemish free. There is a small tear right here. If I can get that to focus, thank you. Um, and moving right around to the back, um, again, oh, wow. This is like um, archaeology. You see this boot print here? Remember? It comes all the way to right about here and then down and around and about to right here. And you see this indentation. This, I believe, is indicative of when the, the booted foot came down. You can see, see right there. See that flexing like that? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So this box, um, a lot of stories to tell already. Um, we haven't even gotten inside yet. <laughs> this is exciting. And then um, I guess the Photoshop logo again. Uh, so anyway, let's get in. Um, we have, um, I'm not sure what this is called. I've always just called it uh, inserted wing. Um, that's the, the opening mechanism here. You see this front sort of comes out. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. The front comes out and then it has these two wings that are inserted into the box and they come out of the box like that. And so when we pull it all the way out, get ready to take off. Woo! We're flying, see? Got our little wingies. Um, okay, so then now that that's off, we are exposed to yet another um, solid pink side. Um, this one looks relatively blemish free. Um, the inside is white. I'm actually kind of interesting. You can see, I guess from just rubbing, um, there are some, uh, focus for me. Um, sorry. There we go. You can see there's uh, some of the ink, I guess, some of the pink ink has rubbed off, I guess, from, from where this has been rubbing on this surface. Um, that's really cool. Okay, and then if we fully lift, we can actually see... Uh, oh, whoa! Okay, wait. Okay, you guys might not have seen what happened there. Okay, watch as I start to pull this off. Look at that. It's another set of inserted wings. Okay, so get ready for a second take. Oh, this is this is a classic. Get ready for a second takeoff here. Ready, and take off. Look at that now. We have four wings. This is like an insect or a dragonfly or something. A dragonfly box. Anyway, and then it says happiness delivered. Pop cigar again. Pop cigar. Pop sugar. Ah, I just got it. Okay. Um, 2017 May Photoshop must have. Uh, oh, this is gonna tell us what's in the box. That's, we should put a spoiler warning on that. Um, 
Okay, so the first item, or I guess the second item, not counting the... That, they should know that for unboxers, that's gonna be a disaster. Um, I'll have to file some feedback. Anyway, the, the first real item, not counting that, is um, some nice tissue paper. It's a nice quality tissue paper, it's pretty light. Um, you can see just as it should be, um, if I slide my hand underneath it, you can fully make out the outline of my hand and the, some of the coloration of my hand. Um, I wonder if I have like any blemishes on my hand that we could see. There's a little freckle there, let's see if we can spot the freckle. If this is truly high quality tissue paper, we'll be able to, oh yeah, look at that. This is some good stuff. This isn't really, they really didn't skimp on this tissue paper. And we've got a little sticker here that I guess, okay, this is not well thought out though, because now to open this sticker, you see we're gonna have to tear. See, yeah, it's tearing right away. I'm pulling it as gently as I can and it's tearing right away. We're gonna have to tear right through this tissue paper just to get into this box, so um, we're gonna have to, we're not gonna be able to reuse this tissue paper. That's very disappointing, it's nice, some nice tissue paper. So we open it up and on the back side is just the same white tissue paper. Um, and then inside, um, of course, we've got some wrapping materials here. Um, I know you guys are sticklers for that, but you'll have to wait, uh, maybe skip forward five or 10 minutes in the video to where we see that. Um, let's see, we have a little jewelry pouch or a coin purse, Samantha Fay. Um, standard design, um, there's actually two separate loops. Um, let's take a look at this. So what we have is this is a complete rope that's tied at the end, and this is a complete separate rope that's tied at the end. And then they both loop, so this one loops all the way around there, and this one loops all the way around there. They sort of overlap, so then when you pull them, pull them out like that, it actually clenches here of this um, coin purse. Um, okay. So opening that up, of course you can just pull it open. There is, um, hmm. Hmm, having some trouble fishing it out. Um, some sort of, um, I think it's a cat collar. What does it say on it? It has text on there. It says, too good, oh, sorry, be good times do good times feel good. And then I assume the implication is that that multiplication equals um, like a good cat or something. So that's really cool. Um, it's very shiny. You might be able to see my face if we are very careful. Let's see. Ah, yeah, you see me? Wait, I'm behind the light. Um, there. Hi. Hi, this is my mouth. Can you see my mouth? I'm winking. I'm not gonna get that to focus any better, am I? I'm winking. It is. It is my mouth. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, okay. So that's item number two, I guess. It depends if we count the sticker and the tissue paper separately. Leave a comment, let me know um, what you think about that. Um, here we have paper in plastic. It says, hello. Um, I guess a reference to Roy Hellu Jr., although it's spelled differently um, from the former Redskins running back. Um, anyway, it says, nicely noted, makes it easy to send handwritten notes. Subscribers receive three beautifully designed cards and three postage stamps every month. This exclusive Pop Sugar collection features designs by some of our favorite artists. Use this code to receive 50% off the first month of your monthly subscription at NicelyNoted.com. 1S2F374 www.NicelyNoted.com One-time use, valid only for Pop Sugar must-have box subscribers. I'm glad I figured out how to say Pop Sugar. Expires the sixth day of the 30th month of the 17th 
I sorry, I've been spending time abroad lately. Um, back here in the states, that is June thirtieth, twenty seventeen. Not valid for shipping or sales. Cannot be combined with other offers. Contact admin at nicelynoted.com. Interesting thing. I mean, other countries they don't use .com or at least not as pervasively. Um, so, like in the in the UK, it's .com.uk, for example. I mean, Australia, it's .com.au. Um, I assume in Germany, it's .com.jur. Uh, anyway, this is very cool. I don't know what it is, but it's I like it. Um, let's see, Muffin Mix Strawberry, um, Atlanta, Georgia, original Southern culture. Oh, I can do a great, I lived in Atlanta for a while, so I can, I can handle this. A hot Atlanta, Georgia, original Southern culture. And that looks like a candle, which is presumably, a, um, this here, this icon looks like a candle, which is presumably a reference to when Atlanta hosted the ni the 1996 Summer Olympics. The uh, 1996 Hot Atlanta Summer Olympics. Um, anyway, um, this is Muffin Mix Strawberry. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, cool, some other products. Bacon Rub, Short Stacks, Maple Syrup. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, well, they last for like a year. That's pretty neat. Um, 400 degrees, that's pretty hot. I've never experienced that personally. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. Oh, a story. Southern culture was born when our founder, Erica Barrett, was grocery shopping and went to purchase ingredients to make flavored pancakes for breakfast. She couldn't find great pancake or waffle mix on the shelf, so she decided to bring her classic recipes to the grocery show. Classic, um, uh, what's that called? Sw uh, mix up, switcheroo. Made with awesome ingredients, this would be a meal you'll always remember. Anyway, um, so it's flour, sugar, strawberries, baking powder, and kosher salt. Honestly, it seems like she definitely could have. That's like three ingredients. Like baking powder and kosher salt, you always you always have all of these ingredients except the straw. Anyway, that's really cool. Um, excited to try that. So going back to our box here, we've got a little guy here called Morning Sunshine Lipstick Queen. I guess that's like the the lipstick the band used. Let's see ingredients. Um, ricinus communis seed oil. Oh boy, I don't think I can do this. Oh, olive oil, that's cool. Titanium, that's expensive. Um, London, it's funny, um, London zip codes look like this. Um, I figure it's because they're using like a base 36 number system where every letter and every number is a digit. Um, but anyway, I, I'm used to um, I'm used to base 10, so it, it, it's hard in my head to put that together. But I guess British people can do it. Oh, but it's from Canada. I don't know. Anyway, got a cool barcode. I'll get a clean shot of that for. For my bar heads out there. Um, okay, it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, you should be able to get, get what you want out of that. Okay, moving right along. We've got some bubble wrap here. It's a small bubble wrap. I would say it's about pinky nail. Each bubble is about pinky nail size. Um, let's see what the, what the pop frequency is. Oh, that's a pretty high note on that. Yeah, that's, that's a nice high note, nice hot bubble wrap. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, doesn't seem to have an... Oh, there's the opening. I figured it out. No worries, guys. Uh, you're gonna have to sit and wait while I can find some scissors. <laughs> okay, so we've got this nice pouch. It was just glued. Um, oh, it's still sticky. It's kind of gross. See that? Look at that. Just following me. It's gross. That's disgusting. 
that's not cool. I guess you can't always get everything, you know. You get a nice quality bubble, but the glue is garbage. Um, what do we have here? Taka Montauk, Taka Montauk, Salt Air Cucumber, Candelina. I assume this is the Latin for candle. Oh no, never mind. Candle's not spelled that way. Huh. It seems like a type of um, spaghetti, like Candelina, doesn't it? It's, it's heavier. But you you can't see that on camera, I guess. But this is this has some heft to it. You know, this is maybe not a solid block of metal, but like I don't know. There's got to be some metal in there. Retreat to where the sound meets the. What? The sound meets the sea. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, maybe it makes sense in French. Retraite en bord de mer, la frochette de l'air marine et la senteur de la lune se mêlent dans un paradis naturel inaltéré. A verser à la main en dos individualette. And of course, those of you not fluent in French, this sentence that doesn't appear in English means um, like poured by hand um, on an individual basis is the translation. Poured by hand on an individual basis. Um, I took French in high school, so I know a lot of that stuff. Um, no, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, let's see what's inside. Now, this is actually a guest box. I don't own any of these items, so I'm going to be careful not to... Um, put any blemishes on any of these um, containers. Let's see, this opens pretty nice. So this is a single wing box you can see there. And ready, and take off! Fly away! More helicopter. Um, so in here is more paper and cool, candle. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, put that over in the loot area. Um, let's take a look at these papiers. <laughs> I'm on a French uh, uh, swing now. Um, okay, whatever. And gentleman's box. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder what kind of stuff. Ooh. Ties. Wood blocks. Socks, more ties, sunglasses, more ties, a lot of ties, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what that's all about. It's not, <laughs> uh, I've been working on some stand-up routines, but it goes, um, hey, have you ever noticed these um, subscription boxes for men and keep trying to send me like neckties? What, what's the deal with that? I'm sorry, it was, uh, I feel like it's my grandfather's generation that um, that wore ties to work. So anyway, um, this is a much deeper bubble wrap. Um, it's actually inverted, where you see the, the this is sort of flat on the outside here, and then on the inside is where all of the the, the sort of the bubbles hang down, which is which is this one's the opposite, where um, the bubbles are on the outside, and it's it's actually a smooth texture on the on the inside. Oh, that's like an optical illusion, isn't it? Whoa. Um, anyway, sorry, I'll, I'll speed this up. So let's see what the tone of these, these are much bigger bubbles. These are, these are bigger than thumbnail even bubbles. Let's, let's hear the tone on these. Hmm. Oh, he didn't like that. Let's hear that tone again. It was pretty high actually. What do you think, bud? I mean, that was upwards of 2000 Hertz. What do you think, bud? 4,000 even? I don't know. He's usually more okay with the lower tones, so his level of concern is making me think it's in... Actually, based just on what he's doing and not on uh, my experience, I would put this in the eight to 10,000 hertz um, range, but, but my ears usually don't lie, although he's pretty well calibrated. Um, let me do one more here. No, that's... he's reading north of 8500 huh maybe my ears are wrong anyway let's see what is in this wrap 
We have Essex frame um, four in x six in ten. Ah, okay. The metric makes more sense to me since I've been spending so much time abroad. Ten centimeters is about ten pinky nails. So let's see. Starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's about. About that much is, is 10 cm, and then 15 cm would you just add another half to that? So that's gonna be more like in that range. Um, I guess sort of like the dimensions of the box, they're gonna be a, a little bit more to compensate. But um, anyway, this is swing design. Uh, formaldehyde? Isn't that for dead bugs or something? Anyway. Concord, Massachusetts. Hey, when you want to get a picture frame, you got to go to 152 Commonwealth Ave in Concord, Massachusetts, you know? 01712 swingdesign.com. Get all, get, uh, get all your frames, you know, all your, all your frames can get, your frame problems will get solved here. You, you walk in with frame problems and leave with nothing but solutions, know what I'm talking about? Anyway, that's my Brooklyn guy. Um, he's good, and, uh, just more of this. this is actually, um, relatively, relatively unadulterated, uh, tissue paper down here. I'm actually able to cut out, you know, this base down here and have some really, really high quality. I mean, look at that. I bet you could read this text through there, you know? Yeah, look at that. Shipping included. Yeah. Oh, this is this is really high quality stuff. You want it, it? It's sort of like a meringue. Um, your uh, uh, tissue paper, like the the lighter and fluffier it is, the better it is. The more expensive. I mean, normally, with a lot of things, like more is better. Where you go, okay, how much gold is this going to get me? And oh, it's a lot of gold. That's good and expensive. But for tissue paper, it's kind of like meringue. You want less. You know, you're you're really paying for that airy quality where it still is strong. See, like I can't even. Or barely, but like I'm really trying to tear that. Um, and even then it's kind of a small tear and it's only on one side of where I was pulling, not like the whole thing just disintegrated like some lesser tissue papers might. Um, anyway, I feel like I've uh, done a pretty good job with this video. So to summarize quickly, um, in reverse chronological order, we have our Essex frame, you know, come down to, to Framingham. <laughs> Framingham. <laughs> oh. This character might be involved in my stand-up, this uh, Framingham frame store guy. Ooh, maybe he's been framed for murder. Hey, listen, officer. I was, I was down in my frame shop in Framingham. Framingham Street in Framingham, Massachusetts, you know? I don't know anything about that girl that went missing. Look, did I want her dead? Of course, of course I wanted her dead, officer. Did I kill her? No, I'm not gonna answer that question without a lawyer present. That's good. Um, we have this sunshine thing. We have this um, muffin thing. We have this uh, candelino. Um, candelini is the plural. Candelino is the singular. We have this thing that I'm actually legitimately very unclear what this is, but it seems kind of cool. Um, and then we have our cat collar. Um, and then of course our uh, our packaging haul, um, we have one small um, bubbles on the outside bubble wrap pouch, um, one large sheet actually, bubbles on the inside large bubble wrap. Um, we have some really, really nice, I mean, to be honest, this is kind of the start of the whole show, this tissue paper. Um, and then of course this box that um, has seen better days, but look at that, it's the dragonfly box, it's got the double, double inserted wings, and don't forget, it tells a story. Remember that? It got stepped on. So anyway, um, this has been the unboxing and review of Pop Sugar. Um, I guess this is the May box. My box? <laughs> An expensive car. Um, uh, anyway, it's great. So um, thanks for watching, and um, check out my uh, Matrix video that I put on Twitter uh, a couple weeks ago. Bye.